everyone, I just finished my first prickly pear cactus and I thought I'd give you guys a look-see and uh, show you guys how I did it if any of you guys are interested in making one of these. So I left it kind of cartoony because our ghost town is a little bit unrealistic and uh, I think it's going to look really cool and also it glows in the dark. So I'll show you guys that at the end. Alright, so the first thing I did is I got a sheet of white foam board and this one is two inches and what I did was I took a sharpie and I traced little foam patties all the way down my board. Then what I did is I took a hot wire foam cutting tool. There's a lot of different kinds out there and I just went and cut each little square out and I got a couple different patty shapes. Alright, so after I took the hot wire tool around and cut out each patty, then I turned it like this and cut it in half, and I got two for one patties. Sweet, right? Then I took a sanding block, and I went around to all of the edges, and then I kind of made an indent on the front of the patty. So it gives it kind of a little defined definition right there. And this is what you get right here. And then I took my finer sanding paper and smoothed it all around. All right, and then once I was done sanding, I painted them green. And then I took blue and red, because I'm old school like that, and I mixed them together and I made purple, and I put a couple dots on there. <laughs> then I took some kebab skewers, and these ones are bamboo, I think, and I cut them in half, like so, and I started to push them into the foam. All right, so then I stuck half the skewer in one patty and stuck half the skewer in another and just started creating all kinds of shapes and forms with the, trying to make them look all cactusy and whatnot. So um, some of them are tall, some of them are short. I think they look pretty cool, cartoony for sure. <laughs> then I took a bunch of toothpicks, stuck them in a scrap piece of foam, and I uh, spray painted them white. Then, once that dried, I took some wildfire glow paint and I just brushed all of them with that. And here's the final result of the patties stuck together anyway. Now we need something for them to go into, right? So let's check that out. Then I took a big piece of white foam and I carved it, kind of made it look like a dirt mound, and I stuck a smaller piece of plywood underneath, and then I liquid nailed it together and set a weight on it so it's really stuck in there really good. Then I painted it brown, and now back to the final result. All right guys, what do you think? It looks super cool, right? I'm so excited how this turned out. I think the kids are going to love it. We're also going to put, you know, some backlighting, some LEDs in front too. Plus the lightning machine will be going. So uh, I'm not going to lose it totally to the dark, but I love it. I think it turned out so good. And as bonus, we're going to have a jumping cactus so it can go, rah! <laughs> taking the time to watch this and let me know if you guys start to make some prickly pear cactus how it turns out. Hey, while you're clicking that subscribe button, hand us some tweezers. <laughs>